this is the way I say it's um, something for contrast here. Y'all to be able to see what I'm doing. I uh, was talking to a grouchy dude at our last meet and greet. And, uh, you know, some of us are guilty of making assumptions about other people. And uh, not character wise, but, you know, just based on ourselves or whatever. I assume that everybody knew what Flint looked like. Flint and Chert. Uh, well, I was wrong. I assumed everybody knew how to pick it up off the ground and make something out of it. Or, you know, you know spot it. Each one of these rocks that you're looking at were laying in the dirt and I was able to spot what they were as I was walking by because I know what I'm looking for. If you know what you're looking for, it makes sense. If all you've ever seen is the inside of a flint nodule, how are you supposed to know what the outside looks like? It's, they look completely different. If you don't know what the outside of church looks like, how are you supposed to know what the inside looks like? There's a ugly old rock. First glance, it looks like a piece of concrete or sedimentary rock. That's flint on the inside. If it was laying in the Caliche Road, it'd be hard to spot that as anything but another piece of Caliche. It's actually a pretty decent piece of flint. It's not the best, it's got some cracks in it. It'll still do the job. Make another piece of chert. Like a little nasty rock. Zoom in on this a little bit. Let's see if I can get some better eyeballs on it. I'll deal with the fact that I'm probably going to have to edit some of this out. Make an educational video. Glassy on the inside. Glassy means hard for the most part. It's chalky on the outside. Now, this one you can see the. I mean, it cheated a little bit because I could see the, the flint peeking through. But the, the flint and the chert will both be really smooth after they're broken. They'll almost have a glassy sheen to them. It's got a chalky looking outside. Glossy hard. 
Means that. Which is actually one of my holes really you can find a lot of the low quality flint around here, but it's actually pretty rare to It's the white shirt like that. See that. You see the gloss on that? Really not. I haven't tried to throw a spark with this yet. This one. Oops. I mean, I, I actually picked it up thinking I'd spotted a bone. Confession time on this one. And then when I flipped it over, it wasn't a bone. Really dark, and this uh, inside or this edge, either one, I'd lay money that it's gonna throw us apart. Another piece of white dirt. Just looks like a rock. It's got a glassy on the glassy look on the inside. That's some of what you're looking for. On um, this is probably this one and this one because of the sheen that they have. The really the the glassier they look, the harder they are. Oh, I'm gonna pull this back a little bit. So in theory, the more they'll cut into the flint and steel. Or the flint, the steel, and make the spark. Let me move y'all back out and we'll try to throw some sparks with it. I don't know about the rest of you YouTube creators, but uh, whenever I try to oops, show something, I always wind up not being able to make it happen. Do it off camera like it was nobody's business. But, uh, try to do a demonstration. Next thing you know, you completely lose every motor skill you had. Let's see. Let's start with the crappiest one first. This one's actually pretty rough. It's, it should work. Pitching it, miss your camera. Let me zoom back in until I get a better look at the sparks. And what's actually happening here. Try to put y'all in the center of the screen here. However. See this one, it's coming apart because it's got all the cracks in it. But for getting you a fire starting, you that's what. that white shirt See that I mean it, it does sparks come off it way faster than the other one he says and then you can't get another spark to come off The 
crappy piece of steel, it's too short for what I'm trying to do. And we got this piece of jerk here. See, the harder the rock is, the better the spark. Not an exact science, anyways. See, that's that chalky outside. It's not throwing a spark. But, pop that off. darker borderline flint ah. Sparks with rocks. See all this powder that accumulated here? You need to know how to replace your rock. And I've seen people build these kits with these little tiny pieces of flint or chert or whatever. Um, that's great, but this piece here, the one I started with. It might be good for 10 fires and then it's going to be so chipped down and stuff that I'm not going to be able to hold on to it anymore. This one will last longer because it throws more sparks and it's actually better quality. But don't carry a little tiny rock. Carry one because you have to have a sharp edge. See like uh, See here, it's got a dull edge. I did it. Play it hard enough, I can get a, a spark. But if you're actually trying to make a fire, you want a sharp edge. So uh, I would actually be taking my steel and chipping an edge. Oh, there's a sharp edge right there, I'm not going to hit it. But I'd be chipping it so there'd be a sharp edge to strike on. crack in there and there you go. Because you have to hit it a lot of times. Very seldom is it the first rattle out of the box that you get a spark. But anyway. Rock identification. Chalky outside. Glossy inside. Chalky looking outside. Glossy inside. This is a really high quality piece. This one's mine. Oops. Chalky outside. Glossy inside. Chalky outside. You're going to be able to find this down there. This is going to be down there where you're at. Glossy hands. Is that all of them? I think. Chalky looking outside. Glossy hands. This actually has some uh, a little bit of Iron oxide inclusion. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, I 
broke it. But I have to look your name up on the channel. There's a guy that can take rusty looking rocks and make a spark. I ain't I that good. I ain't that good. Anyway, hope this helps. Uh, I guess I'm trying to tell y'all to get around and get outside and play with rocks. Mm -hmm. This is like my new favorite way to start a fire. It's it's fun. I mean, cigarette lighter is faster. Uh, ferro rods better than this, but this is fun. And it's a whole lot less work than uh, friction fire. Friction fire works you to death. Okay. I've been doing this all day. <laughs> 